Those are super good. The kids love peppers. This is really heavy, but just some sweet potatoes. Lily's getting some strawberries, and I'm gonna keep looking around. All right, my mom is crossing off the list of some of the foods that we got. Let's keep going. Yeah. Fresh vet. We overseas with this one, man. Get busy. Get busy. Everybody get, get busy. I need y'all to report to the dance floor right this minute. Nelson. So today, this is like a pretty requested video. Totally. We are showing you guys a grocery haul of our family of 18 people. We're gonna show you what we usually buy for a big family, easy meals that we buy. My mom's kind of the pro at this, so I'm just gonna leave it to her and she's gonna kind of take you through it. So we're gonna go to the grocery store, show you what we buy, and just kind of show you the process of how we shop for a family of 18, a large, huge family, all right? So we're gonna show you that today, but before we get started, make sure that you guys subscribe down below and also give this video a big thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you can follow us on Instagram if you would like. Now, mom, take it away. All right, so guys, I only shop for about one week's worth of groceries because if I did two weeks, I would have seriously like six carts. No joke, six carts at the grocery store. So what I do first is I kind of go backwards. I don't start with my list. I start with what's actually in my cupboard. And then after I figure out what's in my cupboard, I'm able to complete meals based on what I have already. So it just saves a little bit of money and time. So I go through my cupboard and I just take note of what I have. I make a list of all the different meals I want to make and I jot down a list of what I don't have to complete those meals. So I'm going to do that now. All right, so while my mom's finishing up writing the list of things that we need, we wanna ask you guys how many gallons of milk do you think our family goes through a week? It's a really large number and it's a lot of milk. I don't like milk, but my family likes milk. So, guess down below, how many gallons of milk we go through a week? It's a pretty hard question. So one thing I keep in mind is I do a full week, so I do the meals, and I write the meals here so that I can remember what I was going to make, because sometimes you get a whole grocery haul home and you're like, okay, I don't even remember what meals I was gonna make. So I write the meals there, and then I write the fill-ins of what I don't have in my cupboard in a list that coordinates with the store I go to, so I know that the fruits and veggies are in the front, so I make a list of those, and then I do the meats and deli, because I know that's on the side. I do frozen next, because I know that's in the middle. Milk and dairy is in the back in my store, so I section them so that it's just a little bit easier as I'm shopping. I usually bring Ledger with me, but I'm super careful about who I choose to come with me besides Ledger because some of the little kids, uh, they add a few extra things into the cart that I don't want, and so I kind of bring the middles. The teenagers just get too bored and they're like, mom, hurry, hurry. So I bring those middles because they still think it's fun to shop. So I'm gonna bring Lady and Lily. Lily. We gotta go pick up Lily from school. She just got out of school. We always love to bring like the middles, like my mom said. We're going to pick up Lily and the Navy's gonna come with us, and then we're all gonna go to Costco. We like to shop there, but we also like to shop at Walmart, but this time we're gonna go to Costco because we recently went to Walmart. So, we're ready to go. Let's get in the car. All right. All right, we're just loading up in the car, getting baby buckled. Usually my dad likes to come with us, but today he has to work. I don't know why, I just love grocery shopping. So, I'm down to come with my mom. I just, there's something about it that's just fun. I think just shopping in general I love. I'm coming with my mom today. I actually used to offer to go grocery shopping for my mom because I loved it so much. Because you get so much food for the kids and like the kids get so excited because we have like all this good food because yeah, no, I'm just rambling. But yeah, you get it. So now we're just gonna go pick up Lily and then we're gonna go to the grocery store and then show you guys kind of the things that we buy. All right guys, we picked up Lil. All right, now we're heading to the grocery store. We are here. A huge cart 
I gotta have a big one so that it can fit lots of stuff on it. And then is that the only part we're gonna get for this trip? Yep, this trip. All, All right, right, this is a huge part. Usually when we go to like Walmart, we honestly get like around four carts. So this time we're just gonna get one huge cart thing from Costco. Okay guys, so we are starting first in the fruits and vegetables section. Their fruit is so good. So we're gonna look at the list and kind of go through what we have and load it up in the cart. Good morning! Good morning, Ledger! Hi! Hi! What are you doing? You woke up? You're so cute! You're so cute! Alright, the kids love these, so we'll go put these in the cart. This is why I love to bring you guys. You guys get to do the dirty work. Just kidding. Okay, let's keep looking around. These are super good. The kids love peppers. This is really heavy, but just some sweet potatoes. All right, guys, I'm about to go in this room. I hate this room. You want to know why? Because it's so cold in here. But we got to get some vegetables and things for the kids. Strawberries. Lily says some strawberries. My mom has a list, but usually what we do is pick out whatever we like. My mom thinks that's just what the little kids do, but really, I do it too, even though I don't live there. Whenever I want to go there and eat, oh, they have all the good stuff because I picked it out. Lily's getting some strawberries, and I'm going to keep looking around. The kids especially like these peppers because they can just snack on them. So we'll have to get some of these. All right, my mom is crossing off the list of some of the foods that we got. Let's keep going. Okay, this is another snack that the kids love. And it's just super easy, just these little mini cucumbers. They love them. The next thing, now we're in the bread aisle, is these Einstein Bros bagels. They're so good. And then the kids love bagels for breakfast. Something I love, but it's too expensive, but I love lobster and crab so good okay now we're in the meat section we like to get pork chops and the kids like to dip them in a1 sauce and basically pretend that they're steak um it's just a cheaper version to do it and the kids love it right i actually like it more than steak just probably because i've grown up with it i don't know but we love some pork chops dipped in a1s yummiest thing ever spinach dip <laughs> everyone loves that so, another thing at our house that we love, our favorite cheese is Parmesan. We use it in like everything, right? Yes, yes. everything. Everything, so we get a big bag of that. Got some potatoes. Oh. Those are good. Hey, my friend told me that these are good, these mashed potatoes. So, I'm gonna get them for my family, and then they're gonna tell me if they're good. All right, so now we are actually going into the dairy section. This is where we get our milk, and we asked you guys to guess how much milk we get per grocery shopping trip. Mom, can you answer that question? So in one week, we use seven gallons of milk. Seven. seven so to eight. Seven and then a chocolate milk. That's true. Kids love chocolate milk. So we're gonna be getting some milk. My mom's grabbing some milk and then I'll grab the chocolate milk. To make sure that we get lots of butter. So I got two of these huge packs of butter. Okay, works. our first cart is actually pretty full already. And we have only not even been through half of the store. So we might need to get another one or we might be able to fit everything on this one maybe. Okay, so, but this place is a lot less embarrassing because everything's in bulk. So a lot of people get a lot of stuff. But when we go to like Walmart, we have four carts, four. So whoever's with me, we're each pushing one and pulling one. And it's, it's hard. Embarrassing. It's Everyone embarrassing. Everyone asks us every time. Are you guys having a party? And no, I just have a big bag. Yeah, they always ask us like if we're having a party because we're getting so much food and we're like, uh, it's so funny. Navy's getting one of the kids' favorite snacks again. It is what? Oh, is it heavy? Yes. Vitamin. So you good. Like All right, mom, show us another go-to when we come here. Mm. Kids love these. Four boxes. Lily says get four boxes. <laughs> Woo. Can we get some poopery? <laughs> It actually works good. <laughs> How do you know? You are kidding. My mom just really put the poopery in the cart. Yeah, because ah! you need it. You need it. Okay, we just put this in the cart, and that is food for who, Navy? Our puppy named Posey. Our puppy named Posey needs some dog food. Lily just stocked up some Eggos. Baby brother's being so good. Baby brother! Baby brother! Hey. He's not a dad. Hi! <laughs> All right, he's just being adorable. <laughs>
Okay, so Ledger had enough in his stroller and we are done. Lily's even yawning, we're so done. So guys, I spent 464.76 and that's about right. We spend about $500 a week on groceries, so we're about $2,000 a month on groceries alone. Woo! Now the fun part, loading and unloading. All right. Okay guys, so you saw I spend about $450 to $500 a week on groceries for 18 people. Josh and Cass don't live with us anymore, but they still come back to visit like three times a week and have dinner, and so do my college kids several times a month. And so we still end up spending about $1,700 a month, and when I'm on a really tight budget, I can get down to maybe $1,500 a month, but I have to be very shopping savvy to get that low. <laughs> so tell me any ideas that you have. Comment down below or on our community page of any ideas you have to save money on groceries one idea is we don't use meat very often for our protein we use that maybe twice or three times a week other than that we get protein from beans or other sources that are less expensive another thing we do is I have an app at my grocery store that I can scan my receipt and it will go ahead and take off any overages that they've cost me there any more than what other stores are charging or any sales that are around the area it will just automatically give me that back in a card that I can use monthly to help with my budget. Another thing that I do is I try really hard to use everything that I have in my cupboard. And so the things that I have in my cupboard, I go through monthly. I don't really have anything in my cupboard that sits and goes bad because I try to use everything that I have purchased. So anyway, we are almost home, so we will unload shortly. from the kids, but holy cow, look how many groceries this is. Whoa, guys, this isn't even everything. I still have stuff in my cupboards. This is just the fill-ins for all of the meals we're gonna make this week. <laughs> is this not crazy? Yeah. Family yeah, of 18 weird. eats a lot of food. Okay, guys, if you like this video, subscribe down below. Hit the notification bell. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And follow us on 